Hi everyone, my name is Marina, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be an empties video. I haven't done an empties in such a long time. <laughs> Bless me, sorry. Yeah, so this has really built up. I have got a lot of products in here. I will leave my past empties videos in the comment section, not comments, in the description box down below. I love doing empties because I love showing you what I used up and giving you a mini review of all the products that I did use up. So without further ado, as I have a big bag, I'm just going to jump straight in. So first up I have used up the Herbal Essences Super Hydrate Hair Mask. Well, I used to use it all the time when I was younger when this first came out. Um, and this has been sitting in my drawer for ages so I thought I'd use it up. This one smells amazing, it literally just takes me back to being like 16. I love this, I made my hair super soft. I think I found this in Poundland as well so keep your eye out in there. But I love the Herbal Essences masks um, and the shampoos and conditioners. So yeah, I really love this, I would definitely repurchase it and highly recommend that you try it. Next up I have got a body wash, this is the Spa Sanctuary Cleansing Burst Body Wash. So I got this in the Boxing Day sales haul. That's what it looks like at the bottom, but I literally can't get it out. I love Spa Sanctuary stuff. It smells so nice. Oh my gosh. It just smells really warm and just really, really, really lovely. I absolutely love this. Made my skin really soft and moisturised. I did find I used it up fairly quickly though, but maybe I just put too much on. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this. Definitely repurchase. Next up I use a face wash and this is the Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean 3-in-1 Deep Purifying Cleanser. Uh, this is amazing, they've since changed the packaging. This is quite an old packaging but it just smells really nice and peachy. Um, it's a really thick cleanser so I really felt like it was cleaning my face and helping to remove all my excess dirt and makeup. So. Yeah, I really like this and I would definitely repurchase this. Probably wait for Christmas and get one in the Christmas sets, to be fair. Next up, nothing special, but it's hairspray. This is the one I always buy. This is a Bristow's Ultra Hold Hairspray for Maximum Style Control. I get this from the Pound Shop or Wilco for a pound or 99p. Um, it's a trusty oldie. Again, I've been using this forever. Um, and I just really like it. It helps my hair stay in place all day. Not that I use or style my hair very often, but yeah, I really like this hairspray. Next, I have used up the Superdrug Deep Action Deep Cleansing Lotion. Um, I have spoke about this before. Do I do not like this for my face. It is far too strong, and my my skin is not sensitive at all really. But even if you smell this, it's like like it's so strong, like. It just smells like alcohol, but I do use this for spot cleaning my brushes and, and now even more recently I've been putting this in my Style Pro instead of the Style Pro cleanser because it's a lot cheaper um, and it's antibacterial so yeah I really like this for that. I might do a video on this using Style Pro but I already have a video on this cleaning my brushes so I'll leave that linked at the end of the video and down in the description box below. Fabulous product, honestly. Amazing. Then I've actually used up a toner. This is the Freedom Pro Studio Glycolic Glow Toner. Literally, I love this. I've gone through about three or four bottles. This is six pounds from Superdrug. Um, as you can see, it's just like that colour. Don't even know what you'd call that. Um, but it really does help my skin. I stopped using this and my skin's got pretty bad lately. So I've just bought a new one to continue using it. I really like this um, and I find it really does help. So if you have problematic skin, this is a great toner. Next, I've got a primer. So I finished up the Nivea Express Hydration Primer. So I don't think this actually did that much for my skin. It smells amazing, it's really soft and it does give your skin a nice base um, and a nice prep your skin before makeup that's what I was trying to say but for me I don't really feel like this benefited my skin that much and helped with the hydration um but yeah it's still a nice primer um I probably wouldn't buy this again no but I do still recommend it with people who need hydration mascara time 
literally what what has happened okay so first i've got the benefit their real mascara i love this mascara highly recommend it and would definitely buy this again so that is the wand makes my lashes really voluminous thick and long so i love this my sister hates this but i love it so yep yeah, definitely love and recommend I've got a sample of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, I've had this for so long so it's time to get rid of it but I love this, I have recently bought the full size, amazing formula, amazing brush, makes my lashes look amazing, so definitely I recommended this, I think I got that in a glossy box years ago. Um, this is a sample of the They're Real, which again I've used up. So that's going. This is the CoverGirl the Super Size of Mascara. I absolutely love this. I wish I bought another one when I was in America. I'm currently using it at the moment and it's all finished. This is what the one looks like. It makes my lashes really long and thick. So I love this mascara. If you can get your hands on it, get it. Again, Maybelline one by one, one of my favourites. I don't know if you can actually buy this. I was getting mine in TK Maxx. But I just love this mascara. It makes my lashes so long and voluminous. That's what the one looks like. It's an amazing mascara. If you can get this, then I definitely recommend that you pick it up. And this one isn't finished, but I've had it for so long that it's time to go. But this is the Jane Ardell Longest Lash Mascara. The good thing about this is that it's in a tube, so you will get all the product out. But the brush was just pathetic it did nothing for my lashes really fat so i just didn't end up using it because i didn't like the um brush it was quite expensive so i feel like i did waste my money there so i don't recommend that then i used up the clarins eclat minute oh that's in french it's a light perfecting touch concealer I got this in a swap a while ago. It's in the shade 02. 02, that was a bit dark for 02. Anyway, I used this to carve around my eyebrows because I thought it was too dark for under my eyes. And um, with a little pen thing like that, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy a skin. It was alright. It was in a swap so I didn't pay for it, but I wouldn't spend my money on this again. Like I said, I didn't like it on my face, so I just used it to carve around my eyebrows. And it was good for that. So next up I have finished the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This is a cooling and hydrating spray. I absolutely love this. I love all the Urban Decay sprays. Um, just help my makeup stay in place all day. Um, yeah, absolutely love this. Not much more to say about it. <laughs> then I finished up this Natural Collection Vanilla Body Scrub. They have since changed the packaging this is so old i got this for like a pound because i got it on sale it smells gorgeous but i don't think it was that scrubby um but yeah i think they've changed the formula and everything now so you can't even get this anymore but yeah it smells lovely this again i haven't even finished but this is the mitchum uh roll on is it roll on yeah roll on deodorant i really did not like this i love the stick form so i thought i'd try the roll on but it just didn't work for me so going in the bin goodbye then i used up a snow fairy shower gel from lush love this stuff so much it just smells amazing it just smells like happiness in a bottle um, this is only available around Christmas time, but you all probably know that. So I think I have a few. Um, I've got one more of this size and then two or three smaller ones. So definitely stocked up for the year. And the last product I want to show you is a powder. <sighs> this powder is vile, literally. This is the NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. And it is disgusting. Like, my skin's oily, so I like a matte powder, but this just makes my face look so disgusting and cakey. And it's just awful. Please don't buy this. What's wrong with you, NYX? Um, like, it feels really finely milled, but when you put it on your face, it just makes everything look horrid. So, no, that's the no from me, NYX. So, yeah, that was everything that I have used up in the past few months. I will leave my past empties video and all 
related videos to products I've shown in the description box down below. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't seen more videos from me. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.